Hello, I'm Leanne Holmesy, and I developed a program called Hospitality Tips for Better Tips. And it is a way to get your servers excited about their jobs. And I know that's probably hard to even imagine, but it really is um, something that works. And I have it down to about 14 steps. And, and basically, what it does is take your server's passive-aggressive or bad habits and helps transform them into somebody who sees their restaurant, sees each chair as the ultimate uh, possibility and the limitless possibility that it is and then it starts to the program shows them how to s take advantage take advantage of events in the neighborhood or in the town um, the town itself um, take advantage of all these things that are available to them readily and use them to create better relationships with their customers better customer uh, connectivity and basically a better experience for them for their shift so it may sound like I'm trying to reinvent the wheel but I'm not and I'm not uh, teaching or coaching anything outside of your regular restaurant ethics and, and management style it's a, an add-on that helps your servers start to really stay, take stock in the position that you gave them, the job that they have that uh, really gives them the ability to make as much money as they'd like, um, as often as they'd like with customers that they like. So that's hospitality tips for better tips in a nutshell. And I'll take you real quick through some of the blocks down here, which um, are when a customer walks in and nobody knows who they actually are, what they're going to eat, if they're going to come back, and it takes them through the process to the point where they're up here and they are a great regular customer who they are, the servers, the chef, everybody knows what they like, what that customer likes. We already know when they're coming back. Um, they have a much more connected relationship with the restaurant than um, than they did when they came in down here. So it basically has the entire staff excited and and competing to make regular customers, not sales. And so it's a great program and let's go into step one which is grab it. Um, the What I would be saying to your waiters is Basically, uh, we're trained to stay in our stations and uh, and wait for customers, whereas Grabit basically trains your eye now to look for opportunities to assist customers. Grabbing packages, grabbing the door, um, it gives the server an opportunity to start a conversation. Um, start introducing himself or herself and this is going to be a relationship already that is um, different than just a server walking over to a table asking would you like flat water or sparkling water this is a relationship that's already built on um, something hospitable that's outside of the waiters regular parameter of um, serving food, taking order, clearing, so that, you know, grabbing the door and, and grabbing packages will help that server to build a relationship. I'll tell you more about how to create a conversation when you're grabbing something. Uh, that's part of the hospitality tips for better tips. will help you start a conversation in almost any scenario that is out of the norm. Um, grabbing a door, uh, they're limitless and when your servers finally finish after my two-hour program they will be looking for opportunities to grab everything whether it's inside the restaurant or outside they'll be looking for opportunities to grab to open doors for neighbors when they're 
um, out on their time off, etc. So that's grab it. Okay, box number two is get your name in it. And although a little self-explanatory, when we start role-playing with your staff and having them say please and thank you, and instead of saying you're welcome, um, getting their name in it, saying things like, you're in Leanne Station, of course you, you know, of course you can have a lemon, you can have a whole lemon tree. Just getting an opportunity to get your name in it where it's not your server saying, hello, I'm Leanne, I'll be your server tonight, where people sometimes don't attach any real importance to that. Whereas if they ask for something, can I have a lemon? You're in Leanne Station, of course you can have a lemon is a different response. It's much more excited and authentic as opposed to um, absolutely no problem. So getting your name in it, it also affords your servers after getting their name into two or three or four times. That server it might start being called by name by these customers. So they might say, oh Leanne, I forgot to ask, can I have a lemon too? Absolutely! <laughs> Sorry, your name is? <laughs> you know, you have that opportunity. It's building a relationship. So, you know, just sticking to the regular parameters of absolutely no problem won't afford you the, the opportunity to start to build a relationship. So that's all that getting your name in it actually means. And it and your servers will will also role play this too, but your servers will start to see that when they start to use their name outside of the restaurant, more relationships start building. And when they start use, building that relationship and saying, of course, I'm Leanne, I'm, down, I'm just down the street, then people are gonna say, really, where? And you can start that conversation about how people are gonna start sending people to my section. So that's, more about that later, but we'll move on to the next one, which is thank you. And thank you is, it's not emphasized here, but the word you is actually emphasized. So whenever anyone says thank you, you respond with thank you. So instead of saying no problem or absolutely, it's my pleasure to bring lemons, I bring lemons all day long. Your servers instead will start to to say, no, thank you. Thank you for being here so that I can bring a lemon. Thank you for being here and, and, and letting me bring a lemon to you. Um, it makes the customer feel like, wow, I am getting so much more service. Instead of, no problem. Sorry, not that anyone would ever say no problem in a restaurant. There's never a problem. But um, when you say thank you, Thank you for giving me the opportunity to bring a lemon. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Your customer is going to feel so much more appreciated when your servers are saying, thank you. No, thank you. Um, instead of, you're welcome or, absolutely, my pleasure. Because it's really not the pleasure of the server to cut lemons and bring them all day. So if you say, absolutely, my pleasure, and it really isn't, then is it really authentic? Whereas thank you is a much more authentic way to appreciate your customer and get them really feeling appreciated. Um, the next block on the bottom is meet the neighbors, which again has everything to do with um, talking to your neighbors on your way into work, getting your name out there, walking around with a business card from the restaurant so that you can write your name on, or your servers can write their name on the business card and tell the, the business owners in the area where they are and what time they're working and what, you know, what great thing they have. You know, if you, your servers will be, after role playing, of course, they'll start to understand that when they say to a business owner in the neighborhood, and if you ever have, uh, you know, a customer looking for the best salad in all New York or Massachusetts or California, tell them to come see me. Where not 10 seconds before your server walked into that store, 
that business owner may have had somebody asking, do you know where I should go for XYZ, where now that business owner has a person and a place to personally recommend to his customers. So arming your staff with business cards for the restaurant and telling them how much more they get from referrals um, now the business owner, there's a whole dialogue that you're going to go through with your staff so that they know what to say to the business owner so that the business owner wants to send people to the restaurant, specifically to that server. And it's a great, really, back and forth, um, it's, it's, it's everyday words and it's an everyday scenario. It's happening a million times a second every all over the world. And yet we're not taking advantage of the, the scenario that keeps coming up. We just keep saying thank you and moving on with our day. We take our coffee, we're our dry cleaning, we, you know, our bank deposit, whatever it is. And we don't capitalize on the fact that we could have said, you know, by the way, you do such a great job for me. I want to return the favor. Please feel free. I'm just down the street at Red Barn Restaurant. You know, I'm there on Tuesdays. I would love to hook you up. Please feel free to come in anytime. And if you want to send customers in, just make sure that they mention your name. And then, oh, I'm sorry, your name is? And you're shaking their hand. And now you just made a connection outside of the restaurant with somebody who's going to be sending people to you to you on Tuesdays and asking specifically for you. And there's more on that, but it's it's a great way to start building connectivity and community of people that basically come into your section who are referrals, they're great people that, that know that you're part of a connection, they're not finger snapping or rude. They usually tip higher because they know that there's a relationship, they were sent there because of um, the bank teller or the dry cleaner um, that they go to every single day. So, all right, well, maybe not every single day. I don't get my dry cleaning done every single day. But the point is, is that um, when you're meeting the neighbors and making sure that you're appreciating what they do for you, uh, for your for your waiters and you give them the dialogue and and make them see what that actually translates into dollars and cents and an easier shift and more energy for the homework or the children that they have at home your servers will start to see the amazing possibility that they have just because they filled out an application at your restaurant and they have nothing but possibilities and limitless possibilities at that by having this chair and this table already set and an entire staff behind them ready to cook for them. And that's what hospitality tips for better tips basically does is explain to servers the the, all the options, all the possibilities that they have every second of every single day. And that is just the first line. Um, hospitality Tips for Better Tips is, is a whole mindset that helps your servers get a better quality shift, which means a better quality life, more money, easier, less walking actually when it comes right down to it because they're serving regular customers that they can communicate to across the room. And the, the customers are so much happier. They feel so much more connected and understood. Their needs are understood instead of, you know, countless waiters time and time again screwing up an order every time they go out now they're never going to want to go anywhere but your restaurant because here's an entire staff of people who made it their job to make them a regular customer instead of just you know hoping that they come back and then eventually they're here enough times and then you're saying hey weren't you here two weeks ago now when your entire staff is focused on creating regular customers your customers are going to have a better experience. They're going to come back more often. Everyone's life is so much easier and better with hospitality tips for better tips. And again, this is just the first row of, uh, of possibilities. Oh, I didn't even get to incomplete parties, but that'll be in another video because I'm already at 10 
minutes. So that was my goal, a little 10 minute snapshot of what hospitality tips for better tips can bring to your staff. And please feel free to call me uh, at the number below. And I would love to come and inspire your staff to start creating customers and a better life and more money for you and for your business and for themselves. Okay, so uh, I'll have the next video up and ready pretty soon-ish. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.